Hi and welcome to another episode of Essential Lightroom. In this video I'm going to show you how we can create this bleach bypass type effect. So this is the end result and this is where we started off. So you can see there's quite a considerable difference. So stick around throughout the tutorial I'm going to show you step by step how to achieve this effect quickly and easily. Before we start the video, I'd just like to say that we've also got a new Patreon channel where you can get exclusive content not available anywhere else. So members get access to things like free presets that are not available anywhere else, exclusive free downloads of our ebooks, and lots of other things. The link is in the description below. Check that out and see if it's something you'd like to support. Anyway, let's crack on. So the first thing we're going to do is go through and start working in the basics panel of the develop module. Now for this effect, that's where most of the different alterations are going to take place. So you're going to do most of your work inside there. Then we're going to take a look at the tone curve and finally we're going to jump over to the HSL section where we can fine tune and tweak this particular image. So let's start off by opening up the basics panel. Uh, as you can see, everything is zeroed out. So the first thing I want to do is adjust the color temperature and the tint of this image to give it a much cooler look. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab the temperature sliders first of all, and we're going to drag this over to the blue side. Now you can see as we take that down, we get a much more cool effect to the image, much bluer tones to it. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to introduce a little bit of green into there to balance things out a little bit. So we're going to drag this down to about about, about about 20 minus 23, somewhere around that kind of range. And you can see that reduces a little bit of the blueness in there, but it still ends up with a very cool looking image. Next thing, I want to just bump the exposure up slightly to over sort of compensate to get some real sort of like nice light tones to the image. So we're going to grab that. We're going to push that up a fair bit. Just over a stop is going to work pretty well for this particular image. So around at that point, and you can see one of the effects that has is it kind of makes the skin look like marble. So you kind of get blemish free, nice white sort of perfect looking skin. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to grab the contrast and we're going to bring that down just to flatten things out a little bit. Not going to go mad with this, around minus 20 to 25, somewhere in that kind of ballpark. And you can see that now flattens things down a little bit and makes sure that we end up with nice contrast in the image, but not overpowering contrast. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to bump those highlights up just ever so slightly, just to accentuate the highlights in the image. Somewhere in that kind of range looks pretty good. You can see it works really well with this skin. Now we're going to grab the shadows, the whites, and the blacks, and we're going to pull those right the way down. So we're going to grab those, we're going to take them down to about minus 80. And you can see that now flattens the image out, but still retains that nice marble effect in the skin. So these are all going to go down to about minus 80, somewhere around there. You can see we now get quite a high contrast look to the image while getting that sort of really nice effect. Now what we're going to do is I want to get a kind of soft glow to this. So to do that, we're going to grab the clarity slider. We're going to bring that down to about minus 40, minus 50. That's going to give a nice sort of soft glow to the skin, kind of radiant. And next up, we're going to grab the vibrancy and we're going to grab the saturation. So first of all, I want to pull the saturation down to just desaturate the overall color in the image, somewhere about that point. And then the warmer tones in there, which there are not many left. We're just going to accentuate those by giving that a, bu a bump in the vibrancy. Around about there, it looks pretty good. So there's our main alterations inside the basics panel. So let's take a look at it before and take a look at after to see where we are now. So there's the before and there's the after. So you can see quite a considerable difference. The overall effect on the skin is quite considerable. So the next thing we want to do, we're going to jump over to the tone curve and we're going to start adjusting some of the tones in the image. So for this effect, I'm going to keep this tone adjustment pretty simple. I'm going to add a couple of extra points in like I usually do. So we're going to add three additional points in there. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to crush the blacks down a little bit. I'm not going crazy with this. I just want to give it that nice sort of crushed black look in the top right hand corner. Also around the eyes and the hair. Then we're going to grab the shadows and we're going to pull those down a little bit just to balance things out and finally we're going to grab the mid tones we're going to pull those down because i don't want this to be quite so much contrast in the image so you can see if we take a look at before and take a look at after it's quite a nice subtle difference but it does make the skin 
sort of tones and the cheekbones and things along those lines stand out just a little better and we reduce some of the harshness in there by crushing the blacks down slightly so that's all i want to do to the tone curve and this is kind of where you could leave it and obviously depending upon the image that you're working with you can now go in and make some color adjustments and that's what i'm going to do but this is more specific to this particular image than something you have to do with every single image you load in to recreate this effect so let's take a look at the hsl section and some of the alterations i make in there Okay, so what I want to deal with is just the amount of saturation and some of the colors in the image that I'm not overly happy with in certain areas. So for example, where we've got the tones in the back wall, I want to adjust those slightly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up to the saturation section and in there, we're going to deal with those tones to start off with. Now they're in the blue and the aqua, so we're going to grab those and we're going to bring those down to the left hand side to desaturate those. So we're going to grab the aqua, take that down to about minus 30 same with the blue and you should start to notice when we make those changes the blue in the background becomes less prominent next up i want to deal with the lips and they're just a little bit too overpowering at the moment so we're going to grab the saturation in there on the purple and the magenta and again we're going to bring those down a little bit not crazy kind of around that point and the next thing i want to do is just jump down to the luminance section and just lighten those lips up ever so slightly so to do that we're going to come to the purple we're going to give those a boost so that's going to make them slightly lighter probably around about yeah around about there is looking pretty good and exactly the same then with the magenta around about the same kind of value so let's bump that up a little now let's take a look at the before and after so you can see the adjustments are not crazy there's nothing that's sort of really outlandish in there they're just subtle alterations to enhance the image that we're working on after we've made those key adjustments in the basics panel and in the tone curve and that's all there really is to this particular effect. It's a sort of bleach bypass effect with some slight adjustments in there to the tone curve to kind of crush those blacks and just give it a little bit more character. Well, hopefully you've enjoyed the video. It's given you some insight into how you can create effects like this yourself. If you did enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up and smash that subscribe button to be kept up to date with all the new content we add. If you did enjoy the channel and you'd like to support us, don't forget there's a Patreon channel available with exclusive content. Links in the description below. If you've got any comments or questions on this video or anything else we've covered on the channel, please pop those in the comments section below. And until next time, take care.